Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to remove Ford C-clip axles from an 8.8 .8 inch differential, as well as replace the wheel bearings and seals. Okay, so a little bit of pre-work that you need to do before we get to the point where we're gonna start here. Um, if you have a disc brake rear end, you're gonna to have to take off your calipers, rotors, and caliper brackets. Um, that's necessary to be able to remove the axle shafts. If you have a brake drum rear end, you just have to remove your drums. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the differential cover. Okay, so what we need to do next is we need to rotate one of the axle shafts to make the differential rotate around until you can see this bolt right here. And then we need to go ahead and remove that bolt. All right, so next we need to remove this center pin right here. Um, you can do this a couple different ways. I'm gonna do this with a magnet because it should pull right out if you have a strong enough magnet to slide it out. Um, you could also rotate the differential so this, this here was facing down and then push it down from the top, but that's probably not necessary. See, that came right out with a magnet. Removing that pin is going to allow us to push the axle shafts in to be able to get the C-clips off. So what we're going to do next now is rotate the differential again so we have visibility into this area right here where you can see the very ends of each axle shaft. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to push in on the right axle shaft. Um, that's the one I'm going to do first here. And when you do that, you're going to see that the axle is going to push in, as you can see there. Um, and you'll, you can see the, the C-clip is now visible. So now we'll have to get that off. So you can take a small flathead screwdriver, try to spin that around. So you have the open end visible to you. And what I would recommend doing is just pushing this through so they, they fall off and they'll, they'll land up down in the bottom of the differential. And then I can just reach in and grab that and pull that right out. Next, we'll do the same thing for the other side. Just need to push it in. Spin around and then push it out the back. And again, just reach in and there you go. Now we can go ahead and pull each axle shaft right out.
All right, everybody, that about does it for today's video on the axle bearing and seal replacement. If you're all done, what you're going to do at this point is you're going to go ahead and seal up your differential cover um, and add your fluid. I'm not going to cover that right now in today's video. I will put a link on the screen, though, to a previous video I did on doing that on a very similar axle. That's all I have for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.